Hello, hello everyone. My name is Nam Dao. I'm a POM application engineer at SciTech. And today I'm going to show you how to configure the uh, item revision display name in Team Center because like we have some call with the customer and then they expect like um, if is there any way that they can uh, change change the ways how the item revision display in their Team Center. So for example, if right here, if I expand the uh, the item right here. The original structure has come come with the uh, the item ID, come with the forward slot and the revision ID, and then after that come with the second ID, and lastly come with the uh, the object name, because because some some of the customer they, they the their company like using the uh, the revision uh, ID system is uh, number, so sometimes they 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 was confused between the uh, um, revision ID and the second ID. So to change this one, first I'm going to close the team center and then open the uh, BMIDE. In BMIDE, I will uh, switch to the item revision. Under the business object constant, I'm scrolling down to the display name right here. So as you can see in uh, in the value right here, this is uh, showing the uh, like how how the item uh, revision display structure. First, come with the item ID, forward slot, come with the item revision ID, second ID, and object name. Let's say in this case, I'm, I want to modify the uh, dash right here. And then I'm going to remove the uh, second ID completely. In this case, to finish, save the template, and deploy it. Since this is a quick demo, so I'm going to use the uh, the hot deploy, not like how we usually uh, deploy the template in uh, Team Center. Now the BMID is connect to the server. If we need to deploy the template. This will take a few minutes on this process. Now the template has been successfully deployed to Team Center. Click OK here and then reopen the Team Center to see how it looks like right now. expand this item and as you can see right here now showing the um, the item ID come with the dash and then the revision ID and and the second ID has been removed so this is how it looks like at first and now this if you don't want to remove the second ID we can move this one to the back or make a, another configure like how the like how how you want to uh, display the item revision on the team center. So if you guys like this video, please give us a like and subscribe on our YouTube channel, like um, for more helpful video. And thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw. 
make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.